Hi, this is Mike O'Berry, also known as Alien Traveler. Uh, those of you who follow me on Alien Traveler magazine uh, know that I travel all over the world, and I visit places that many people with a couple extra pounds on them, like myself, believe that are out of their reach. Just before my uh, trip to Honduras and Belize in January, my son bought me a brand new bag uh, for my camera gear that I take into the field. Well, to make a long story short, I'm very, very, very happy with Maxpedition Jumbo S Type VersaPack. Now, I, I will tell you that the the S Type means that it hangs on your left hand side, uh, while the regular VersaPack does not. It, it's geared more for the right hand side. So, S Type uh, is going to hang on your left hand side. You know, uh, I I looked at a couple of the bags here, and I was very happy with this one because I really did not want an extremely large bag that I would have to lug around and keep up with in, in the field. Uh, originally, they had bought me something that resembled uh, kind of like a small duffel bag. Well, was not happy with that because, like I said, you know, I got a couple extra pounds on me, and so uh, I really don't feel like lugging something uh, like that all around uh, wherever I'm walking. So, Versa Pack has plenty of pockets in it, and I really did enjoy it. Uh, it's well constructed. In fact, it is made out of uh, 1,000 uh, denier nylon. And to me, uh, that's a biggie, because I was looking at some of the reviews on it, and they they were talking about the, the differences between the Versa Pack, because the Versa Pack is just a little bit... Uh, more expensive than some of the other bags that are out there. Actually, the, the Maxpedition is really designed for a handgun, but it is large enough for a DLSR that uh, I thought I would give it a try. So if you're looking at the uh, the photographs with me as we go through this here, you can see uh, the first photograph is it's laying down on, on its side. Um, I wanted just to show you all of the many different clips and pockets, and uh, you're going to find a lot of Velcro on this so that you can add other things to it. Uh, looking at the very front of it, the uh, the front clip, very sturdy, uh, kind of a hard plastic. Uh, like I said, uh, it does fold over. There's actually a somewhat waterproof bag on the inside as well, and I'll show you that here in just a, a little bit. Um, originally, it was set up to where there would be a water bottle on the right-hand side of it. And uh, I decided that I really didn't want to put a water bottle in there because uh, I really had a Gorilla tripod that would fit right in there, fit right in there perfectly. I was able just to twist the, uh, the band on it. And uh, you can see that it does have a thumb pull cord, a lot of nylon pull cords on this, and uh, really did uh, fit just right on it. So moving to the top of the uh, unit, you can see uh, that I have my little Nikon, uh, not my Nikon, but my uh, my Pentax adventure camera sticking out at the top there. Uh, very good spot for that. It fits quite easily in that, and I was very happy. Uh, normally when I carry my gear, I'm normally going to carry a couple, two GoPros, uh, my adventure camera, and my Nikon P610. All of this easily fit into the bag with lots of space left over. So the, the Pintex basically fits in up at the top. Uh, we'll open up the bag just a little bit and you can see the Nikon sitting in there. There was a couple reviewers that uh, thought that maybe that a full-size DLSR might not fit into it, but uh, most definitely it will. Now, this is a bridge camera. Uh, I will do a review on the Nikon 610. I'll tell you what, if you're looking for a camera, this is a camera that you really want to consider. You'll notice that uh, that there is a blue microfiber cough, uh, cloth. It does not come with the bag. Uh, and actually, the bag is a little bit deeper than what you see here. Uh, I have already used this bag, so what you're seeing is the way that I have it set up. There is actually two black neoprene hose wraps uh, that go up underneath that blue thing. The only thing that the bag did not have that I thought that, you know, that would be really essential for a camera bag was a little bit of padding on the bottom. And so I went ahead and put the black neoprene hose wraps uh, in the bottom of this and then put the rag over the top. Like I said, still plenty of room here for this. 
Uh, if you had anything on a regular DLSR, uh, you might not want to have anything over, say, a 250 or 200 millimeter lens. But uh, as you can see, with the uh, the Nikon here, plenty of room to spare. You can also see the little bit of the the uh, nylon bag that goes around that. Again, that does pull up, and you can see that in the next photograph. Uh, how it does pull up, and you can see all the way down to, I went ahead and removed the blue cloth out of it, and now you can see all the way down to the bottom of it. What you can really not see on the inside, uh, with the bag pulled up, there is actually a fish net on the inside as well. Uh, you really can't get a good look at that. So anyway, uh, I push the, the cover back down and it stays to the side because the this type of nylon, very, very, very stiff. And this is one of the things that I really did like about it. Moving on to the front pockets, uh, you can see that the front pocket, again, fish net in there to hold some... Uh, little uh, cards or batteries or anything that you might want to uh, put in there. There's a couple of pockets up there in the front. As we move around to the side, uh, you can see the little bitty, uh, that is actually two GoPro cameras in there with six hour batteries. Uh, I'll do a review on those here in just a little bit, but um, I tell you what, I love my GoPros. I have uh, two, three pluses. Uh, three plus blacks and uh, when you put the six to four to six hour battery on them uh, it just really and these are waterproof by the way so uh, it really just makes for uh, a good setup with the GoPros and with the, the Nikon and the Pentex so anyway side pocket on the other side uh, two GoPros with the extended batteries on them will most definitely fit So moving around from the side, uh, let's go back up to the top to the very back zipper. Uh, this is almost up against your body. That This is still on the outside of it, but this is probably the main reason why I really enjoy this bag. Uh, this particular compartment here does go the full length of the bag. Uh, it is big enough for a 9mm handgun, but in this particular case we're talking about camera bags. Uh, because I travel a lot uh, in particularly parts of the countries, uh, different parts of countries that may not be safe, I, I will put my passport and my wallet on the inside of, uh, of this one here. It is kind of difficult to get to while the bag is, is in your possession. And uh, you can, my whole hand, I got very large hands, and my whole hand will fit uh, quite readily inside of that. As you can see, that there's, there's little bitty uh, ribbons and connection points. They're very, very, very sturdy so that if you had some carabiners and you wanted to hook other things up to this bag at the same time, most definitely feel free to go right ahead. It will handle the extra weight. So let's go ahead and flip this thing over and we will take a look at the back side of it. Now you'll notice that there are three black pads and those black pads are uh, very soft but they are made out of a type of nylon that is also very durable. This is the part that is up against your body. Now, my only complaint with this bag, that, uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm kind of a big guy, and the this is uh, the strap that you see going across the back there is for uh, to go around your waist if you decide to put it that way. Now, with me, would not fit. Uh, however, because I used to be in the military, I also know that this one here will also wrap around your leg those of you who have worn gas masks before. Um, but you know what? I really didn't want to use it though like that, so I went ahead and just tightened it up, and it, and it stayed in its spot, and I, I'm very happy with it. So anyway, pads on the back, very comfy to wear. Uh, this bag actually was really quite a joy because I was on and off different buses, uh, and I was in the jungle with it, a number of different things, and you can always just uh, just kind of slide the bag around because it has a nice soft shoulder pad, and you can see that at the top of the photo. Shoulder pad up on it that uh, is nice and soft, and you can fling the bag to the back, and uh, it, it just easily moves as we go through that. Finally, if you'll look down at the bottom of the bag, you'll see some also some more... Uh, connection ribbons if you wanted to add something else to that. Myself, I don't really plan on doing anything like that, but if I wanted to carry a small monopod or something like that, then I could put a couple carabiners on the bottom and it would fit there 
easily also. So all in all, if I was going to uh, do from a 1 to 100, with 100 being the best, this would definitely be a 97. Uh, and the only reason that I take it down just a few points is because of the the way that the waist doesn't fit me. But you know what? Maybe if I lost a couple pounds, I wouldn't have to worry about that. So anyway, Mike O'Berry, Alien, Alien Adventure Magazine, uh, doing the uh, Expedition or the Max Position bag. Most definitely, if you need a bag, go out and buy this one.